What are you doing back there? So, um, just dropped off the baby at daycare there. And uh, normally what I would do is I would go straight to the office from here to teach my morning class. Um, but today we've got a couple of housekeeping items in the morning, like got a doctor's appointment at nine o'clock that I've got to go to. Um, and I'm not sure how long that's gonna take. You know how it is, right? And so I'm gonna go home and teach from home today. So that's, that's where I'm headed now. Um, and we'll see how things go uh, from there. We'll get the class going and start the day. And it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how it turns out today. I know I've got a lesson this afternoon at four. So like I might have a nice uh, normal afternoon, uh, but a lot of times afternoons can be derailed depending on, <laughs> not derailed, but the afternoon all depends on uh, how bad the workout is at noon, right? If the workout is super hard and I'm just totally out of it after, the afternoons tend to be like, you know, I don't know. It's not that I'm not motivated, it's it's just that things happen a lot more slowly, I guess, if I'm being honest. Um, and then, uh, you know, meanwhile, if I can get some energy going, uh, then afternoons can be pretty jam-packed with good stuff happening. So anyway, that is the, uh, that's my story so far today, I'm sticking to it. Before we get started here in, the class today like you know we, we touched on a couple of these things on Monday um, the first thing that comes to mind here is this tune is definitely very high on the difficulty scale it's very minimalist right in composition like it doesn't look hard does it especially the first part it's like oh it's just uh, e doublings going back and forth from low A to C but you know that's a um, really tr sort of tricky thinker exercise in itself isn't it and it's actually quite, it could be quite difficult to do the same thing four times in a row. That could be harder than, you know, that could be harder than just doing it once, I would say. Um, and so it, it doesn't look like much on paper, but there's a lot going on here, okay? Um, I think that it's really easy to just sort of play through the notes here. Um, going back to the first part. Right? Like that's something that pretty much anybody could do. But what is it that we're focusing on here uh, that's so essential to Strats Bay playing? Who can type in and sort of fill in the blanks on where I'm going with that? Good. So yeah, A lap ASAP is the big thing. That's what we call it here, of course. And Roberta, you're kind of putting it in the common tongue there a little bit. Uh, but we actually, I. You know, obviously, that's you're correct there as far as the the general terminology is concerned. But one of the things that I really taught myself to do a long time ago, and and I'm a little bit of a stickler of it with my students as well, is is I really don't like to think about these dotted notes as holding, right? For me, when you hold a note, that suggests that you're doing something special to that note, that you're doing something unique. And really, what we're doing with these dots and cuts okay, is we are uh, maximizing the contrast between the two. We're making one as long as we can and the other one as short as we can. But one of the key things there is that we do it every single time we see that figure. Okay, and that is, you know, that's the key thing for me. A lap ASAP is not about holding and cutting. Anybody can hold a note and cut a note. What it's about is acknowledging that this is what we do every single time we play. We're not doing anything special to this note, right? We're just maximizing the amount of time we can play that within the confines of the beat. Does that make sense to you, Roberta? Like, like uh, so, I, so I try to avoid the word holding uh, because I want to take us out of that sort of mindset and I want to get into the mindset of consistency and doing this every time. is 
is over, headed to the doctors. Um, things going smoothly so far today. Thankfully though, um, thankfully though, John Holcomb was able to cover my beginner class because uh, we started doing this beginner hour now in the mornings, Carl and I trade off and we do it, we each do it twice a week. Um, and then we have a uh, Andy Fusco from the Las Vegas pipe band that's teaching beginner classes in the evening now, which is awesome. This has been received really well by the membership, but I have not yet like totally, like it's not totally sunk into my brain. Like the 7.30 a.m. class that I teach, I've been teaching that every single morning for like the past five years at 7.30 a.m. Um, and once you do that for like, let's say, two years <laughs> straight, you know, there's no, you, you know, it's always, it's just part of your brain. It's like literally an ingrained habit, which is great. As a matter of fact, there are the occasional morning where I can't do my 7.30 a.m. class for various different logistical reasons or maybe because of holidays. And it really feels weird it feels like a total vacation, you know, uh, when I don't do it, like it feels out of place. So uh, anyway, continuing along with my day here and uh, I'll keep you posted here. It's sort of a miscellaneous day in the life. So the uh, capital region of Albany is, uh, you know, we've got these amazing state capitol buildings here because Albany is the capital of New York State. Um, and they're really cool and they make for an amazing skyline. But, you know, everything comes at a cost as well. So this whole area here, um, but then the, you know, it's just a small part of what used to be a giant uh, Italian community. Like, um, so this used to, you know, be extremely vibrant. And I guess my under my vague understanding is that the Rockefeller, sort of the Rockefeller influence, uh, the eminent domain and all that, they just flattened the entire community to create those buildings. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword there, I guess. Huh? Um, just an interesting tidbit that I often think about when I ponder how cool the buildings are, because they are cool. Good. I think I'm actually gonna get gas and then I'm just gonna go to the gym at 11. I think there's a couple folks doing an early workout today so I'll just hop in with them and then I will have um, several hours uh, this afternoon to get some good solid work in. So that's the plan. That's where we're going from here. All right so that was definitely in the top three worst I mean not not bad but the hardest workout so that thing where I said sometimes the intensity of the workout messes up my afternoon this is gonna be one of those times with that said I should be able to do some work just uh, in a horizontal position because luckily today my computer is at home so oh that was rough so you know I <clears throat> Definitely took longer to recover from the workout than usual, but luckily I did the workout an hour earlier than usual as well. So I'm like exactly on time for my normal afternoon routine. Plus while I was taking it easy at home, luckily I had my computer with me, so I, I was indeed cranking out some work there, which is good. Uh, meanwhile, I've been putting some thought into it and I think what's coming together here as sort of a theme for the episode um, is the idea of consistency, right? So this morning in the lesson, I was talking about how, you know, this simp the, you know, one of the several fundamentals that we need to be able to do as bagpipers, um, you know, which is in, in today's case is a lot they set, but really it's every fundamental, um, you know, and that's the whole point, but it's not the fact that you can do the fundamental that's important, right? What's important is that you can do it consistently and that's uh, what is gonna see results. I remember when, um, you know, John uh, John was playing this morning on the class and 80% of the ALAP ASAPs were pretty good. But 
there was like 20%, like there's a couple things here or there that weren't quite right. And, uh, and so I asked him to like think about those spots. And sure enough, he started to put together all of the ALAP ASAPs, or pretty close to all of them. And it just has this amazing impact on the playing of the tune because now it's consistent and it's clear to the audience, okay? Um, and it should hopefully be cl clear to the performer as well. Like um, now the consistency is coming through and now we're hearing like the actual musical idea behind these key fundamentals that we do. Um, and of course, going to the gym every day, a great example of consistency for me outside of bagpiping is the gym thing, right? So um, I've been going to the gym basically every day that I can, you know, uh, safely go. You know, I usually have one rest day a week or whatever, but, but I've been doing that with amazing continuity now um, for 13 months. Um, and of course, the consistency shows like really amazing results over time, right? Like um, you don't necessarily see it every day, but I was going through old vlog articles and I saw just how freaking fat I was when I started the vlog, which also happened to be, you know, just about 13 months ago. Um, and then to now, even though I'm still, I don't look the way I want to, um, there's definite improvement there. Now, conversely, right, on the diet side of things, so obviously to be in good health and fitness, you need to exercise and you need to eat well. Well, I have eaten well occasionally throughout this period of training, this 13 months, but I have not done so with consistency, right? So I'll have a week where I eat pretty good for a week and then, then there's like a couple weeks where I don't eat that well. Um, and then I'll have um, a week or two where I eat okay or I have a plan or I'm in my routine and then weeks where I don't. And like, sure enough, right? It's causing major issues and I'm not seeing a big enough difference with how I look and how I feel and obviously with my overall fatness, right? Like one of the big things that I know is holding me back with my health and fitness is the fact that I'm not consistent with my diet. It's not even that the diet has to be uh, the most amazing diet ever. I mean, I think that would obviously help. And I think the quality of, uh, you know, the exactitudes of everything are going to be really important down the line, right? Once you've lost 90% of the weight and you want to get to 100%. Uh, but right now, like, I still have a lot more to go and I need to focus on just the fundamentals of eating fairly smartly, right? Eating good, real foods uh, and not too much of it and to eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Like, I need to focus on that and I need to focus on doing that consistently. If I could do that for a year, uh, I bet you I'm willing to bet my bottom dollar that you wouldn't see the difference. And so that's what I've been thinking about a little bit this week. Um, but the theme is consistency. Um, one of the things I've done, um, it's, it's called, lovingly referred to in a lot of success literature as the Seinfeld calendar, right? For my own bagpiping, I bought a uh, dry erase calendar and I wrote all the dates for the upcoming year on it. And my objective is to play my pipes consistently all year long, five, five times a week, right? Every weekday. Uh, without breaking that chain. And so I, I draw a nice big X on the calendar uh, when I'm playing it and, or sorry, you know, when I'm doing it, right? When I, when I play every day and I don't have to be profound every day. I just have to get my pipes out and do some good stuff every day. Uh, because if I wanna be a great piper, um, I have to play every day, obviously. But it's amazing, like today, for example, I do not feel like it, but I'm gonna play my pipes anyway. Uh, and, and I would recommend that for whatever it is that you want to achieve. Uh, presumably, if you're watching this, you want to be a better piper. So, you know, get a big wall calendar and a, and a red crayon or a red marker and just draw an X on every day that you honestly play through a few tunes on your pipes. Okay, or if you're not on the pipes yet, where you play honestly through several tunes on the practice chanter, like just start there. Start with... Uh, consistency and let's let's wrap up the dialogue of the vlog right there I think that's a good food for thought it's something I'm working on and I suck at you know I'm just as bad as you even with the piping stuff like I'll, I go through periods of uh, lack of motivation which is okay but you have to keep that consistency um, and it's something I'm working on and uh, maybe it'll inspire you to work on it a little bit as well so anyway hope you enjoyed the vlog today and uh, We'll see you soon for the next episode.